The question that came in today is how many deer per acre should there be on the landscape? Let's do something different. Come with me and I'm gonna go show you and explain. You know, the thing that we talk about a lot of times is deer per square mile. And the number, if you've listened to any of the deer talks that I've done, is research has shown us that for all intents and purposes, no landscape, no matter where you live, no landscape should really be home to more than 35 deer per square mile. How big is a square mile? Again, it's 640 acres, but what we have to understand is when we're talking in deer densities, it's about the entire landscape. It's the river bottoms, it's the little connecting areas, and that's where you get your deer because, you know, some areas aren't really going to be considered habitat. You have lakes, you have uh, urban areas, there's areas that are just not suitable for deer, so then it's going to push those deer out into bigger, to bigger areas where there's more habitat. Here, we're going to see six deer over there. We're going to see 10 deer in that field over there. We might see five over there. Before you know it, it's adding up, and now we basically have the number of deer that we're supposed to have on the property, and they're all right here. Now, how does my property fit into that? How big, like I said, how big is my property? If your property is only 40, 80, 100, 200, even 300 acres, if you, let's think about that for a second. If you had 300 acres, let's say we came up this hillside here and you had 300 acres of this prime woods up here. That's only half, not even, not even half of a square mile. So if this land is the best land in the world, which we all think we have, there should only be 15 to 17 deer on this entire 300 acres for a healthy habitat. And that's the key to this whole lesson, creating healthy habitats. The healthier we leave the landscape, the more deer it's gonna be able to provide for us in healthy relationships for the ecosystem. So there's gonna be more deer that are gonna be able to live on that land more productively we're going to see better uh, growth rates among fawns. We're going to see better uh, sex ratios, buck to doe ratios on the property. And we're going to see better antler development in bucks. But it's about knowing that ecosystem. It's about knowing what that land can support. And then doing your job to make sure that that deer population is managed within those numbers. Okay, so, you know, we've seen a lot already in just this short amount of drive and the whole point of this this exercise is to show you what a square mile can look like. You know, you've seen some farm fields, you've seen a lot of woods, we've got a little bit of uh, wetlands here, some swampy areas, but right here at this intersection, we've only gone a mile. So we want to go a square mile. So we're going to go around the block. So what you just saw, now you're going to multiply that by four. Now that's a square mile, that's 640 acres. 640 acres is a lot of ground. But when you look at that, you're like, oh man, there's all sorts of places. This is prime, this is all woods and, and cropland and stuff. All sorts of places for deer to hide. Yeah, there are all sorts of places for deer to hide, but on a healthy landscape, uh, three dozen of them, that's about it. So, so about 35, let's just say even push it to 40, that's all you're gonna have on all of this land. You know, so that's it. I mean, that didn't take us long to drive a square mile. And when you look at it, you know, that land, like I said, it, it's a mirage. It looks like, gosh, this is such a big area. I should have way more deer than I'm seeing right now. So the more you know about deer densities, the more you're gonna know how many deer should be on the land that you hunt, and the better you're gonna be able to formulate hunting plans for this fall. Hey everybody, this week's product spotlight is the new Milspec bow case from Plano Molding. You have to check this thing out. If you travel a lot across the country like I do, this thing is a vault. It is really built solid. It's built like a tank. 
I'm going to show you some of these features. It has four extremely heavy duty hasps. It's got reinforced locking mechanism here. I can put my padlocks on there. Nobody's going to get into that. But this thing is really nice. It has gasket sealing on it. So it's going to keep dust out of there. It's going to keep water out of there. Really, really nice. Inside the case, it's reinforced with all sorts of padding. But what Plano has done, which makes it really nice, we all shoot different size bows. I love my Matthews bows, and some of those are nice and small and compact, like the Halon. It has pluck foam here that you can actually pick out with your fingers to make that fit your bow perfectly. I'm a knife guy, so I'm going to use a knife to cut mine out, but I'm going to be able to put my bow in there perfectly. It's going to leave extra room for storage, accessories, and also a nice six arrow case here on the side that's built in, so I can have my arrows with my bow and be all ready to go. The last thing that's nice about this case, you know, these hasps, I talked about that, but that is really, really solid. We're going to get that thing locked down. We're ready to go. It has two handles on it, a real nice heavy duty handle here that I can carry on my side, or a heavy duty handle on top where I can wheel this away as I'm walking to the airport. Check it out today. It's the Mil Spec Bow Case from PlanoMolding.com.